Look how Drew hates my makeup routine because when he goes in to like kiss me or rub on me, he's just like, there's so much stuff on your face. But then he loves this face. Good morning, everyone. It is really early. I don't even know what the time it is, but we have a really, really busy day. The kids are going to be homeschooling. I'm going to try to attempt to finish the laundry. It is really, really like backed up. I'll just show you. That's all clean laundry right there. It all needs to be folded and we haven't gotten it folded. But then in the bathroom, we have like laundry hampers of dirty laundry. Laundry room is not that bad, which which is weird because I would think that laundry room would be bad filled with like well, clothes, but it's not. It's just like our bathroom, obviously the kids. We do a lot better doing the kids laundry. So like they each have a hamper and we'll get those done. But for some reason, like this huge pile and then all like the ones in our bathroom, it just never gets done. So I'm going to try to tackle that, do some homeschooling, get some cleaning up done and do that all before. Um, Drew comes home. I'm gonna get ready for the day and then start tackling homeschooling and this laundry. So I'm gonna do my skin care routine. My, I don't know why, I sometimes get dark circles, and like dark eyes. And I've been using vitamin C and stuff like that and it's been really helping, but mostly it's just, Penguin's not really sleeping. He's going through that 18 month regression. Like he's like 17, almost 18 months right now. And um, it's just that and so, I just have to deal with that, and but while I deal with that, I'm just gonna get these underneath my eyes. Toner. Vitamin C. And I'm gonna put hyaluronic acid as well. I've noticed a huge difference in like this, my skin elasticity and like the dryness in my face. It's like Drew hates my makeup routine because when he goes in to like kiss me or rub on me, he's just like, there's so much stuff on your face. But then he loves this face. Last thing is I do put a little bit of oil. Even when I'm wearing makeup, I usually will add a little bit of oil. I feel like it makes my face, you know, have that like very glowy look because my face is like so well prepped. Then I'll put the primer and then put all the makeup. It is a huge process. So one of my favorite things to do while I'm putting on makeup is to listen to Audible. And right now I'm listening to a black woman's history of the United States. Um, it's Black History Month. And I always think it's really important to like continue to educate myself. So I want to say thanks to my sponsor Audible for making it possible for me to be able to listen to my books during Black History Month. Our whole family absolutely loves Audible. I love the fact that like my kiddos are able to read a book and listen to Audible at the same time. It's really helped with their homeschooling like or with their like reading especially with Cal because she's at that beginning stages of reading where she needs someone to be able to like, read to her. Let Audible help you discover new ways to laugh, be inspired, be entertained, or even discover black history. So I have a code for you. You can go to audible.com slash Gina or text Gina to 500-500 to try Audible for free for 30 days. I'm going to head downstairs to see how they're doing with homeschooling, but I'll show you guys what the kids are reading later. So here's some more laundry. You guys, it's really bad. I did pop, take this out because I started doing laundry a little bit earlier today. So here's another one. Here's another one as well. I can fit any more in this. I'm just gonna drag this to the laundry. Alrighty, Badger, what are you reading right now? I'm reading Young People's History of the United States. 
So right now we're on week seven of the homeschool curriculum. They have like a book that they're reading and then like an actual like textbook in a way. And so her textbook is a like, young people's history of the United States. And then the book that they're currently reading is a kidnapped prince. And so those are the two that they're kind of doing intertwined and they'll be doing that for the next week. And then I think next week it's a whole new book. Actually it's not, they're still reading the kidnapped prince but the next textbook that they'll be reading would be a different mirror. And so it's really, really great um, like history curriculum um, because I feel like they give a really like in-depth like history and it's not just told from one perspective. Like you get a lot of indigenous perspective. So a black perspective of living in the United States and the US history as well. So I really, really like it. Uh, but that's what she's reading right now. And then Tiger, she's currently working on spelling, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so she's doing really good. We just recently went to the eye doctor. We found out that Tiger needs glasses. So for the longest time, Drew and I noticed Tiger like looking really close to the paper and it's been for a couple months. We noticed like she's writing really close to the paper and we thought it's just because she is really good handwriting. I don't know if you guys have ever seen her handwriting, but she's like perfect handwriting, especially for like a nine year old, but it's, it's not for perfect handwriting. She's nearsighted. Like, everything's good now. She um, is getting new glasses soon. And so she's she'll be fine. Hopefully she won't be writing close to the paper anymore. Right, I'm gonna have to do the girl's hair and then I'm hoping if the kids can get homeschooling done or if they can handle whatever's next, I might try to go get some laundry um, finished up. Do mama only want you to eat junk food? Do I want you to eat vegetables? Do I like when you grow? Yeah. Yeah, I do. No. Mom, what's yeah. 60 minus 6? I'm not doing your schoolwork for you. Earlier I saw Penguin playing with a black sponge. You did? Yeah. It's probably the, gone now. In the living room. It's probably gone. It's scrunchy. If Penguin was playing with it, we're not gonna find it anytime soon. Thanks, he put it back where he found it. He did? Mm -hmm. Oh, we might be lucky then. Look yeah, down, look down. There we cleaning. go. The living room. Six months? It's been a year. It has not been a year. I can tell you that. I know. It's for been sure. one year. It has not. Yeah, it's a new year. You went like 12 weeks ago, 10 weeks ago. By so a back. year ago. Gave me a little tiny chick mug bug. A what? A chick mug bug. It's so tiny. Mom's like, it smells so good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Park. Oh. You don't have to go if you don't want to. I do, I did, just did it now. right after the other one pops, or they both pop at the same time. Is it good? Are you gonna get down? Yeah. Is it good? Oh, thank you. You gonna help mommy fold? You help mama fold? Yeah, perfect. Do you wanna listen to a book with mama? Because it's just like five books, right? And then, oh, guess what? A lot of the kids' um, history books are on Audible. Beep, beep. Okay. Your puppy. 
Puppy, can I see puppy? Hi, puppy. You hug puppy? Hug? Yeah. Hug. <laughs> oh, be careful, don't fall over. My sweet husband is finally home to help me. <laughs> it was so, so much. And then I kept getting distracted. And then Penguin just was doing his own thing. And so it just wasn't working as well as I Your wanted. Your family is here to help you out. Don't worry. We're all going to do it together. It's going to go by so much faster. I actually have good night stories for Rebel Girls. We're going to read this as the kids are... They're playing. As the kids are folding laundry, helping around, they're not half of them are not really helping. I think Penguin's having a blast. But it'll be really good so that way we can read a book as we all help and fold and get these all put away. But what I loved even more, th about four or five of the books that the kids use for history is already on Audible for homeschooling. And so that'll make it really great where if we're driving somewhere, I know like Panda actually has like allergy shots and he has to drive like an hour away to go get the shots and a lot of the times he's in the car and doing school work and now he gets to listen to the book instead of having to read it in the car so one of the books that the kids are reading for their history this year is a different mirror it's a really really great book for teaching about american history but all a lot of the stuff that isn't usually taught um like in public school so a lot of like events or perspectives from other um cultures who lived in the united states and so we really 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 love um this book these are like one of the many books that we found on audible that we are already using for homeschooling so penguin he was super mad at me he's starting to do mad faces mm -hmm. so i did a mad face back and then and i he smiled didn't like it. No, no, I did a mad face. He was fine, and then I smiled, and he just chuckled. Cause he's like, "You get me, you get me." <laughs> you guys ready to listen? Sure. Yeah, let's do this. Adriana Barbosa, entrepreneur, born August 28, 1977. Who wants to start hunting hangers? Me, I will. Twenty years later, the fair is still going strong. This family did a little digging. Well, I did as much as I can. I've got a little bit of baby boy to put to bed. Drew, uh -huh. I won't complain. You say night -night? Mostly because Drew always puts the baby down for bed. And so I will finish up. We still have a little <laughs> bit left. I think we will get it done tonight. You will, definitely. When I come out from putting bye -bye. Penguin to bed, the floor is going to be clean and clear. Bye -bye. Say bye-bye. So please remember to like and subscribe. We're so glad that you guys were here with us today. Even though it was just a day full of laundry, it seems like. But you guys got to hang out with us and see just a typical day. We will see you guys next week. Say bye. Say bye. Thank you. You guys want to say bye? Bye.